Okay, so let's say we're carrying on working on our featured artist and, and our boss comes along and says actually there's a critical bug fix that needs to be done on the master branch uh, which needs to be available to everybody immediately. Well what do we do? So we switch back to master and let's say this critical bug fix is that the background colour for the site should be red. So background colour for the site red. So if we run that, it should look absolutely hideous. And it does. But that's what uh, that's what the boss wants, so that's what he's going to get. So we can have a look at the status. We see that the CSS file for our site has been modified. Uh, so we're going to add that, and we're going to commit it. Changed site. And we're going to push that change up to our server. So we're going to say push origin master. And all that's done is pushed up that single change that we made to the master branch. You can see now we actually now have a true divergence because we now have two commits that hang off this renamed the store again because that was the point that we created our branch. So we have master which has changed the background color of the site and we have the featured artist branch which begins work on the featured artist page. So we have these two commits now that come off the same point. So uh, we now truly have a branch in the sense of a divergence in uh, history. So I'm going to finish the featured artist page and come back there. So at this point we've got our featured artist controller uh, and our uh, and if we go into views, featured artist, uh, our to-do message. Um, but we what we don't have because this is on the featured artist page, we don't have that red background colour. So let's finish off the featured artist page. So you can say uh, today's featured artist is Jimi Hendrix. So we've now finished uh, our featured artist page, let's say. Run the status and add commit finished featured artist page. Bring up the repository history. Uh, actually, not like that. If I run a uh, git k with the all parameter, then it shows us the history for all the branches in the system rather than just the current one. So in this case, we'll see that featured artist now has two additional commits, while master has one additional commit. So we now need to merge those two branches together. So we want to bring the contents of featured artist into master. So I'm going to check out master and doing a merge is very simple. We just run git merge and then the name of the branch we want to merge. In this case is featured artist uh, and the merge basically says take the branch name that we specify and merge it into whatever our current branch is. In this case our current branch is master. So we say git merge featured artist and it tells us all the files that have been changed by the merge. If we bring up the repository history, you can now see that it created a new commit for us, which is a merged branch featured artist, and this is on the master branch, and it's a new commit who's, who has two parents, so one was the last commit on featured artist, and one was the previous commit on master. So there's a new commit that brings those two branches together. So now all of the changes from Featured Artist are in Master, and we can just prove that by going back to Visual Studio, and we can see that we have our Featured Artist controller, and we also have the red background colour. So both of those changes have now been merged into our Master branch. So what we can do, now we've finished with our Featured Artist branch, is we can delete it. So we can say git branch uh, dash d for delete, and then the name of the branch. And that's removed the featured artist branch. Now remember, a branch in git is simply a pointer, so it hasn't removed any of the commits on that branch, because those commits are in master as well. All it did was remove the label, the, the pointer to that particular commit. So if we run git k again, you can see the history looks exactly the same, except we don't have the uh, label that says featured artist next to this particular commit. Okay, so now we've done that, 
uh, we can push those changes up. We can push them to the server. We come over to our other user, who if you remember is in the git demo2 directory, and he wants to bring those changes down. So he's going to issue a git pull, and if we look at his history, we can see it looks exactly the same. We see this was the point where we did this uh, divergence, and then this was where the merge happened.